Hey, so we are back for episode three. Pretty exciting stuff. Um, I just want to jump right into the uh, deals that I found in Waterdown. So I want to recap a little bit. 40 Royal Edge that we talked about a couple of weeks ago. That is now conditional at 1.1. So it'll be interesting to see uh, where that lands when it does. Um, also, 257 Parkside Drive is conditional at 764.5. So we don't know what the pending price of that's going to be or what the final sale price is or even if it firms up. But uh, it'll be interesting to see what that one's going to be. Uh, if you want to see these ones, you can go back a couple episodes because I talked about both of them and put links in for both of them. So have a quick look. Uh, 383 Dundas, uh, unit number 79 that we talked about last week, I think it was, was 699.9. So that was a good deal at under 700,000. It's now 659 uh, with $189 condo fee. So it's getting better, man. Um, prices are, if you're in, if you're buying, it's looking good. Like, you know, mortgage rates have gone up, prices have come down, still a good time to get into the market. Uh, so 659 for that one at 3 to 3 Dundas. That was the one that was like the three-story town, but the main floor was basically just a hallway up in your garage in the back. Um, but asking 659, who knows, maybe you end up getting that thing for 645 or something um, if you have a good negotiator. That's me. Uh, okay, so let's move right into it. There was only a couple this week, uh, so I didn't want to like pull out a third and just stick it in there for the sake of sticking one in because that's not what I'm here to do. Uh, so we have a detached home at 23 Glaceport Avenue. It's been on the market for 14 days. It's currently listed at $749,999. It was originally listed at $799,900. Um, it's, you got to see past the renovations that need to be done. Uh, and you got to see past some of the furniture. There's some big bulky stuff in there. There's some... You know, everyone's got different tastes, um, but a lot of like big, heavy furniture makes a room look small and draws your eye to that furniture. So once you see past all that stuff, pretty good price at seven forty nine nine for an attached home. Uh, the garage needs to be turned back into a garage. Uh, you do lose a little bit of living space. You also need to kind of get over the fact that it's a little bit of a string shaped house. Uh, I don't mind it. Again, who knows? Maybe you end up at seven hundred for an attached house in Waterdown. It's close to Dundas Street, so it's in Waterdown West, which we talked about before. Walkability is great. You can get to all the shops on Dundas. You can get to restaurants. You can get to grocery stores. You can walk everywhere. You can walk through the big part of Dundas to some school or to Waterdown to schools and whatnot, uh, and easy access to all the different highways, which we've discussed in the past as well. Um, so yeah, I think that that's a good one at Twenty Three Glaceport at the current asking price. Probably still some room to negotiate. Uh, and then we go to 64 Buttercup Crescent. That's a four plus one, three bathroom. It's listed currently at a million ninety nine nine hundred. It was listed at one million one hundred and twenty nine thousand nine hundred. So a big decrease. There's been a lot of stuff done to that house since the previous people bought it in 2020. Um, the basement was just kind of roughly done in the. Uh, in 2020. Uh, so these guys have done the basement. They did all the work in the backyard. Um, they put the big built in, in, in the living room, which I love. Um, it's a nice place. They painted the cabinets. The cabinets were, they're a nice cabinet with a good profile. They were originally brown and now they've painted them white. Um, so for that asking price, again, that's the asking price. Uh, I think that this is a great, great house. It's over 2000 square feet above grade. Not a lot over, it's like 2000 and something. Um, but yeah, I think that's a great deal. So. There's a two, and then there's also the one decrease from a couple weeks ago on Dundas Street. Um, but take a look at them, see what you think. The links are all gonna be down below. Um, I'll throw in a couple stats for you guys. In the last 60 days in Waterdown, detached houses, average days on the market is 33, and sale to list price is 96.14%. So whatever you list your house at, you're gonna get 96.14% of that. Um, Attached homes that are both freehold and condo. Average days on the market are 25 days on the market. And then the sale to list price is 95.37. So it's not terrible. Um, yeah, I mean, there's room for negotiation in every list price. The days on the market isn't a long time. It's pretty standard uh, for a watered down market. 
Um, it's not like it was in the crazy times, which was like eight months ago, nine months ago, but uh, I, I wouldn't complain. Um, I was gonna throw in 76 Mosaic. Um, that was our listing, uh, but it sold in four days. So you don't get to see it. You can Google it and find it. If you have any questions, shoot us a message. If you have a town that you would like me to uh, kind of look into, let me know, or a neighborhood in particular, as long as it's somewhere where we operate, I don't want to kind of go with uh, beyond my means. Uh, and we'll talk to you next week. Ciao.